You know I have the talent to make it. I can become the Lafu's best pilot, just like you were. Talent? You'd be dead if it weren't for those two travelers. Do you think stealing a star skiff and taking to the skies is a show of talent? What about being trapped by abominations? Did you at any moment think about what I would feel if something happened to you? Do you know how many people dream of a relaxing desk job at the Skyfaring Commission? You promised me to work responsibly in your post. Not only have you broken the Skyfaring Commission's regulations, you've broken your promise to me. I already told you, I had no choice. I want to help you and the Skyfaring Commission, not sit at my desk dealing with never-ending papers. That job doesn't suit me. I got the highest grade in the fighter pilot test. They all said I was a genius like you, like mother, like daughter. They were all jealous of me. But no one even knew I had to take the test behind your back. You would never have allowed me to go if I told you about it. Behind my back? Do you really think you could have walked into the test and sat in the cockpit if I hadn't given my permission behind the scenes? As for genius, don't mention that word to me again. Why do you insist on becoming a pilot? I don't understand. And I don't understand why you don't understand. Why can anyone in the world become a fighter pilot except the Hellmaster's daughter? Don't you realize how ridiculous that is? You may not want to fly anymore, but don't trap me down here with you. The Jingni, where are you going? <sighs> I'm sorry you had to witness this. Apologies, Madam Yukong. We should have given you some time. You're right. An oversight on my part. On the contrary. I apologize for allowing my own personal matters to encroach on your time. We don't intend to pry into private business, Hellmaster Yukong. But if there's anything we can help with, Please don't hesitate to ask. Family issues, I'm afraid. You probably heard a thing or two just now. Despite my earnest wish that she continue in her post, Ching Ni is fixated on becoming a fighter pilot. I may seem overpairing, but the situation she gets herself into sent a shiver up my tail. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? I've seen every disaster imaginable, from the Abundance Axis to a living planet. I thought I'd forgotten what fear was. But when I fought alongside you, I realized there are still things that can terrify me. I'm sorry. Talking about such vexing matters is unbecoming in front of guests. I invited you here to gain a better understanding of the Express, not bore you with these trivialities. Oh, I prepared refreshments for you. Please, you must try this excellent whale tide spring. Please accept these gifts as thanks for saving my daughter. I'd heard that the Nameless had traversed the Starry Sea, but I wasn't prepared for how much I could learn from you. Well, I'd heard from members of the Skyfaring Commission that you were a top-tier pilot, Madam Yukong, and an ace among the Cloud Knights. Now that I've seen you in action, I know the rumors were true. I hope to witness your flying ability for myself one day. We'll head off now. The Commission must be busy. I look forward to our next meeting, Madame Yukong. <laughs> On my flying ability, I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you, Mr. Yang. The sky no longer suits me.
<laughs> Looks like you still wish to talk. <sighs> Seems our every meeting is accompanied by an incident of some sort. I hope I can meet the Astral Express crew under better circumstances next time.